Luminar Neo has some great extensions and there is also a what they call a secret deal for you. Let's look at what the extensions are and what the secret deal is. Hi, it's Peter here. Disclaimer. Skylum did not sponsor this video. However, I have affiliate links if you want to get Luminar Neo or buy the extensions. I have myself bought the available extensions because Skylum is a Ukrainian company. I wanted to support them. I've used Luminar since they introduced Luminar AI. I did have Luminar 4 but never really got, to, uh, got into it. I have used Luminar AI and Neo for portrait editing mainly. It's one of the best with its AI mask for portraits. But let's first talk what the extensions are. Extensions are add-ons that you can buy separately. The software is modular and extensions can also be seen as modules that you add to the software. You can buy the ones you need and all of them of course. At the moment, at the beginning of 2023, the available extensions are Magic Light, Super Sharp, Focus Stacking, Upscale, Background Removal, Noiseless and HDR Merge. I think there will be more this year as you see from this image. After downloading and installing the extensions, you can find HDR merge, focus stacking and upscale in catalog mode. The rest are on the right side in the edit mode. The background remover AI can be found under layer properties. Let's look at the extensions. Some are self-explanatory, but Magic Light is fascinating to look into a bit deeper. The obvious ones are Super Sharp for sharpening unsharp images, Upscale for upscaling, Background Removal to remove the background, Noiseless for noise removal and HDR Merge for HDR images. Also Focus Stacking is something quite obvious. I will test all these in the coming months this spring and make videos about them. From what I've tested so far, the results are pretty good. It will be interesting to see how they compare to Topaz software. I will do that also in the upcoming videos. Have you tested them side by side? Do you know which one is better, Topaz or Luminar AI? I mean Luminar Neo. Let's quickly look at what the extension do and how they work. Let's start with focus stacking. In macro photography, the depth of field is very narrow, even when we stop down to f22. When we stop too much, diffraction worsens the image quality. We want to use the sweet spot ap aperture. That might not be enough for the depth of field we want. Focus bracketing is the key. Some cameras like the newest Olympus slash OM system cameras do it for you, but it can also be done manually. Luminar Neo focus stacking can stack up to 100 images, and that's plenty. For this particular shot, I only needed three images. The images were photographed with Mzuiko 60mm f2.8 macro lens. The result is very good. And then the extension called HDI Merge. Sometimes the scene is too contrasty that the sensor can, cannot capture the highlights and the shadows so that there are details in both. HDR comes to the rescue. You make several images from the same scene with different exposures. Usually it is better to change the shutter rather than the aperture. We want the depth of field to be the same in every shot. Some cameras can merge the images in the, in the camera. If you do not want to do that, merge them in Luminar Neo with the HDR merge. It can merge up to 10 images. It is easy to use. Drag the image into this box and let Luminar, <laughs> Luminar, <laughs> Luminar do its magic. The result is very pleasing. Extension Super Sharp. Sometimes there might be slight unsharpness in your image. That is when Super Sharp is handy. It can fix slight miss focuses and makes them usable. The best results come when you mask the area you want to be sharp. I need to play around with this tool a bit. I could not get perfect result with my images. And then let's talk about the background removal. Especially in portraits or product photography, you might want to change the background. It used to be quite a job to remove the background, especially if it was very busy. This is, typical, this is a typical task that is good for AI. It saves a lot of time. It also works quite well, as you see here. Some refining needs to be done on this part. As I said, I will make more videos about the, these extensions once I have played around with them a bit more. And then the next extension is Noiseless AI. Another excellent use for AI is noise removal. It makes high ISO more usable when you can remove the noise. I bet this is the most common use for AI for most of us. And what is essential is to tweak the results from AI. Sometimes a slight noise makes the image more natural looking than a total noiseless image. That of course depends on your style and what you personally like. To remove noise, click here and Luminar Neo will go through the image and its AI will remove the noise. The results looks pretty good, natural and nice looking. I have not compared Luminar Neo with other noise reduction software. I will do that in the near future. And let's next look at upscale AI. 
this is a great way to get some more megapixels to your images and I tried to do a 20 megapixel image up all the way up to 300 megapixel image and it looks darn good. Unfortunately Premiere Pro cannot import that image so I cannot show the original one. But here is a smaller version of the same image and I can say that the upscale works really really well. And I will test this against gigapixel AI later this spring. But as you see here the results are pretty impressive. And then the extension Magic Light. With Magic Light you can make sun stars. Usually sun stars are made by stopping down your lens. Some lenses produce better sun stars than others. Laova has a few like the 10mm f2 lens and the 6mm f2. Also Nissin 9mm lens is quite suitable for sun stars. I have tested those lenses. Links to those videos are in the description down below. But let's see how well Magic Light does this. There are quite a few things you can adjust. Before I tell you about the secret deal, a few words about AI and image editing in general. AI is part of image editing, no argue about that. It is no point fighting back even if you do not like it. It's here to stay. Will AI replace photographers? No, but it will replace photographers who do not use AI. AI makes editing faster and more efficient. It can do things like masking faster. It will do the boring stuff for us. It can do things that are not possible without AI like noise removal or upscaling. But of course the creative decisions are yours. You make the final adjustment either the traditional way or with the help of AI. For me the most enormous help has been people slash portrait masking. It has made image editing so much faster. The AI makes the mask for different parts and then I can adjust every part differently if needed. Lumina Neo does a marvelous job in sky replacement. That is something I do not usually do. I find it a bit strange, but of course for, land, uh, for fantasy portraits, advertisement and things like that, it is okay. I have always said that there are no limits in editing in most cases. It all comes down to how good the image looks. And then there are some other tools in Luminar AO, some other AI tools I mean. The software included several other AI tools and need to, that not need to be purchased separately. Layer Properties has the Mask AI tool. In Essentials there are Enhanced AI and Structure AI. In creative there are Relight, Sky and Atmosphere AI. The portrait has Portrait Bokeh, Face, Skin and Body AI. I will be making videos about these during the spring. It will be interesting to see how they fit my workflow and style. And then let's talk about the secret deal. Skalem offers a Luminar Neo Pro subscription for one year for 95 euros instead of 119. And the Luminar Neo Lifetime license for 99 instead of 119. With the coupon code JPeterF10 you can get 10% off from those prices. Pretty good deal, if I may say so. All the necessary info can be found by clicking the first link in the description down below. The secret deal started today, the Friday the 20th of January and it will continue until the 30th of January. I find Luminar Neo to be a very good image editing software. The work quality is a bit different though, the only downside is the catalog. Being so used to Lightroom data databases, this looks very minimal. Luminar Neo can be used as a plugin for Lightroom, which helps a bit. And be sure to subscribe for those upcoming Luminar Neo videos. And here you can find my first impression of Luminar Neo. You might want to watch that next. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.